All right, this video will be about the concluding statements portion of your body paragraphs, not to be confused with the conclusion paragraph of your paper. I even made this meme, concluding statement, conclusion, very similar. Ah, all right, moving on. Um, so the basics. We are writing this as the last sentence in the body paragraph, including the human rights paragraph. So the human rights paragraph and any other body paragraph, the concluding statement is going to be the final sentence in those paragraphs. The purpose of this sentence is to essentially recap the most important things that you wrote in that paragraph. So the main idea or the topic statement, and then any evidence or quotes that you use to support that main idea in the body paragraph. That's what we're trying to recap here. Um, this should definitely not be a direct copy of the topic statement. You are going to paraphrase. So you're taking what's written and you're saying it in a new way. So you're saying the same idea with fresh words um, because you want to reinforce those same ideas. But if you say it differently, you give your reader another chance to understand it. So maybe they didn't understand it the way you said it the first time. If you say it differently here, but you're still pushing that same idea across, they get another opportunity to understand where you're coming from and another opportunity to be convinced of your argument. Um, so this is your last chance to remind that reader of why you're right and those reasons because of that before they move on to some new sort of information in a new paragraph. Formatting. Um, generally, the concluding statement should follow these elements in order. So a transition phrase to show that we're moving towards the end. So, um, you know, so, so, so on and so forth. Or finally, next. So there's a bunch of different transition words, but you want to make sure it is a word that is appropriate for where it's placed in the paragraph. It's, if it's near the end, we want a, a transition phrase that's pointing towards it being the end of that paragraph. Um, and then your topic, verb, and position that are all found in your main idea. You're not just taking them, but you're, you're using the ideas that you've written for those um, and paraphrasing those elements below in your concluding statement. And then you're essentially replacing the reasons in your topic statement with a paraphrase of your evidences that you have written in your, um, throughout your paragraph. So... That's what we're looking for. It's essentially the same format as a topic sentence, and you're taking a lot of what you have written in the topic sentence, but you're saying it in a new way. And then your reasons are going to be a paraphrase of your evidence to drive that evidence um, home. This is the way. So an example, if my main idea for my human rights paragraph uh, is the Universal Declaration of Human Rights provides a strong basis for the legalization, um, and my evidence is the three articles from the UDHR, um, one about health care, um, one about the will of the government shall be the will of the people, so essentially voting um, and equal representation, and then the right to participate in the community. Um, so if those are my three pieces of evidence, we need to combine these elements into one sentence at the end, recapping these things. So if I look at a sample paragraph in whole. The green is going to be the um, topic statement, all right, so where you're introducing the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And then the yellow is going to be your evidence, all right, so we're quoting an article from the Universal Human Rights, and really this can apply to any paragraph, not just the human rights one, but any body paragraph, because you're still opening with your topic sentence. You're having some evidence, some quoted evidence, with some context beforehand to make it easier to understand, and then a quote or a citation after the quote. And then you're going to have your link in blue, so you're explaining exactly what that quote means and what it is trying to say and why it's important. And then you're just repeating that process with at least two pieces of evidence um, and explaining that what that evidence means and why it's important in the link. And then at the end, we get to our concluding statement, our recap of the paragraph, um, where we are taking some ideas from the topic sentence and also from the quotes in order to paraphrase that into one final reminder of 
what we're trying to say, the main points we're getting across, and why it's important. So the main takeaways are concluding statements. Uh, think of it as a recap of your main idea and of your evidence. It can be more vague than the original main idea and evidence because it's not new information, it's more of a reminder. And then the last thing that is said in the body paragraph. So this goes after our counter argument and our refutation in our regular body paragraphs, and it's just going to go after our, um, our final link in our human rights paragraph, okay? So either way, this is the last thing that you're going to be writing in a body paragraph before you move on. And the key phrase here is going to be to paraphrase, all right? You're putting this all together. You're using ideas that you've already stated, but you're bringing them together in a new way. You're paraphrasing them, all right? So pack it up, case closed. That's what we have for that. Um, pretty quick one here, but if you need anything, let your teacher know. They are here to help, and keep at it. You're doing a great job.